What's up, TikTok? I am coming at you today with leaps and bounds of energy. It's 2024 spring season, bitches. Get off your ass and let's get sexy. When I tell you I have had a week, I have had a fucking week. If you follow me on TikTok or even Instagram, I briefly posted and then deleted because look, this is something I'm gonna go into in a whole separate video. Let's just say anxiety has been high recently and all of my doors have been locked, bolted. I also have not been allowed to leave the house and there's been plenty of policemen on the street. I'll leave you on a cliffhanger. Oh, YouTube days coming back. But that is not what this video about. This video is about getting hot, sexy, and snatched. Hot girl summer is fast approaching, which means the true preparation starts now. What is it they say? You need like 21 days to make something a habit. We're actually in the midst of planning a trip for Lewis's birthday in June to Ibiza. There's like a kid staring at me down in my window right now. And the mom is looking equally as confused. Oh my God. Oh my god, I've got eyebrow dye on. Oh my god, I didn't disclose, I've got eyebrow dye on. I'm going to Ibiza with a big group of girls, Miss Millie T being one of them. I'm gonna vlog, I haven't asked Lewis if I can vlog, I'm sure he won't have a problem with me vlogging, but I'm gonna vlog because I feel like I never vlog around my friends anymore. And it's something I just need to get back into the swing of. Another thing that I feel like I really need to address is the regrowth. Like, are we seeing this? I said this on a TikTok live. I couldn't tell whether these were just baby hairs, but everyone was telling me it's regrowth. I've been taking these hair supplements, like hair and skin, as well as just like so many vitamins. So I'll go upstairs and run you through. And I've been sticking so consistently to it. And I swear to God, these have just come through in like three weeks. All these tiny hairs now all over my head, which is very exciting. I did actually have a hair appointment booked in yesterday, but I had to cancel it just because it still wasn't safe for me to leave my house. House, as I said, this is for next week's video, this conversation. So the extensions in my head are literally down to my nipples. But it's fine because if there's one thing I'm good at, it's glowing up from home. As you can see, I've currently got my eyebrow dye, my eyebrow tint on. I've actually also painted my nails. I think I'm going to paint my toenails as well. Maybe even shave them. I haven't shaved in not being dramatic two to three weeks. I FaceTimed one of my best friends last night to show them the state of my legs and me and my friends were chatty girls. Never in my life have I seen this person lost for words. I feel like this video is honestly just gonna be all over the place because I was planning on just starting filming tomorrow and doing it like all within one day, but I've actually got an event tonight and I don't wanna go with the chip nails, hence why I'm starting now. But then when I come home from the event, I'm gonna be like tanning, all that sort of stuff. And I also wanna show you what I'm doing to work out, get a little bit of exercise in because I have found the best mode, mode of exercise the best exercise it's like a exercise hack basically how to just like be in your living room watching tv but still active like it's just amazing i'm doing it 24 7 and i feel like i've already dropped a bit of water weight to be honest i do just feel a bit less like you know what i mean maybe a bit but i just like everything i'm doing so that i feel like the best version of myself inside and out this summer and if you're gonna cry and tell me that i'm like the cause of everything bad in the world on this video because i know these are quite controversial go leave like it's not helpful i'm not doing anything wrong i love the majority of you who watch these but i know there are some of you there are some of you here waiting waiting for my downfall and respectfully i do not care and i will not be told this channel is all light-hearted fun nothing too serious thank you Amen. A clear bar with a singular strand of hair floating in it. Absolutely terrifying. I will bathe in that, but then I'll be like, oh, God forbid a man runs for a bus. I have a leg to stand on, babe. I'm also overjoyed that this little police fiasco true crime watch on my street is over because for the true crime lovers such as myself i haven't been able to watch any american horror story any of my murder mysteries any of my missing people cases no ellen and neil in this house and i've been stumped i've been re-watching all seasons of keeping up with the kardashians wow so fresh and so clean i posted a tiktok the other day that was like baby not ugly you just haven't done your eyebrows and it's so real anytime i tint and like get a good pluck on my eyebrows i really do feel like that bitch oh my god i also got this new piece of decor for my bathroom which i'm obsessed with it's like this hanging ornament it was made oh not again 
it was actually custom made so you can't get your hands on it but have you ever seen an armpit so smooth astrid razors i will forever be an astrid customer for the rest of my life there's someone ringing my doorbell but it's just like really not the time right now a certain sense of loss though i will say when you like grow your leg hair out to a certain length and then obviously only if you choose to shave but it comes the time to shave it off like, there's a certain sense of sadness attachment to it a certain sense of pride that comes along really hairy legs like as much as you look down at them and it's like shush kebab Guys, I booked a garden landscaper to come over and he's outside my door. I can't let him in. How did I forget that? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's a man outside my door. There's a landscaper. Fuck. Like, I actually simply cannot. Oh god. I'm gonna have to email a pretty good excuse for that one. How did I forget that? I feel like I'm so caught up that this is like my first day of freedom outside. I completely forgot about that. I couldn't speak in this next clip for obvious reasons because I was in hiding but these are the products that I use on my hair. They're both from L'Oreal. They're so great. I've seen such an improvement in like the density and the thickness of my hair and then when it comes to blow drying my hair I always blow it downwards because it just like makes everything a bit smoother, a little bit sleeker they're gone at least i hope they're gone but i'm not taking any chances so i've actually just taken all the makeup from my windowsill which is like where i usually sit and do my makeup over to this mirror here just in case they come back i honestly have such cancellation anxiety and i've had it a few times now i used to be so terrible i used to be like tana mojo and that like i'd always forget that i had things or i'd oversleep just back when i was in my chaotic era and now nothing irks me more than like forgetting something or like not showing up to something but that was just a situation like i hope you understand i've sat here in a towel with sopping wet hair like there's not a lot i can do i'm also pretty sure there are a few dog turds in the garden <laughs> from the last couple days i'm gonna sit here and do my makeup i've actually got like a full in-depth of how i do my makeup at the moment in my last video so if you do want to see then you can go and watch that i'm ready literally all i need to do is curl my eyelashes anytime i'd have up i'm literally so paranoid like i'm literally only going out for an hour i'm still a little bit anky panky about leaving her in the house I don't know if it's because my phone has been listening to me but i've seen so many tiktoks of girls being like we are leaving mascara in 2023 and honestly do your makeup and save mascara till the last step and just see what a difference it made i really think mascara like dulls down your eye color since i've stopped wearing it my eyes look so much brighter and more green i really can't see what the fuck i'm doing there's huge light in my face i'm still suffering the consequences of that lvl i just don't think it's something i'll do again they are so tangled can you see that oh my god also just dust a bit of powder on this is the huda beauty powder and it is so good <laughs> going in with this killian perfume there we go this is such a gorgeous fragrance it's sweet but not like a cheap sweet smelling it still smells quite sophisticated and sexy right i need to go chuck on a jacket that will go with this probably black who are we kidding Bye. Ah! don't get mad at me i feel like you can tell last time i saw you i had these beautifully manicured little nails and now they've all been nibbled off i did go to my event and then just shit hit the fan over the weekend i didn't really want to pick the camera up but i do come back bearing news news which i don't want to come out of my mouth because the second it comes out of my mouth the second it's real and this is actually something i have to commit to <sighs> I'm doing 75 hard. Are you still gonna like me doing 75 hard? Are you still gonna think I'm fun, entertaining, crazy, sexy, free? If I'm a boring, sober bitch. I've actually just completed my day one of 75 hard and it's hell. I feel like I'm constantly drowning in water. You have to drink like four liters of water a day. But come 75 days when I'm hot, sexy, fresh and fun, you'll all be doing 75 hard too. I know it's also supposed to rewire something in your brain. Honestly, a lot of this I'm doing is just to like rebalance out my kind of serotonin, dopamine levels. Obviously a huge part of it's not drinking. In fact, let me read out the rules to you now. Gallon of water every day, clean eating, read every day, no alcohol, no food delivery, two sets of 45 minute exercise per 
per day. Maximum 30 minutes scrolling in TikTok slash Instagram per day. Last thing to do on my tick list today is read, but I like to do that when I get into bed. I love to read either in the mornings or when I get out of bed. I can like feel the toxins leaving my body already. I wanted to put on some fake tanning mousse tonight, but I have just done my bed sheets and that feels like it's illegal in girl world. But I've actually got plans this weekend which I want to be nice and tanned for and it just means that I'm going to have to like scrub it off again and do it again. Instant tan will just work better but I'll show you all of that tomorrow. How I do tan in literally like 10 minutes and you get such a dark even tan and it doesn't really like, if you spill a drink on you... Not that I'll be having any of those. It won't like come off. But also I want to talk to you about skincare I'm using because I also feel like my skin is in such a good place. Anything you see on my face right now is actually just scarring and like pigmentation. Scarring never looks good as well when you're the colour of a ghost and you quite literally blend into your pyjamas. I'm going to show you really quickly everything I use. Not sponsored of course as well. Skin of Me Daily Doser every single night. I put this on and then I follow up with the Hailey Bieber Glazing Milk. I then go in with this which is the peptide glazing fluid and if my skin is feeling extra dry i'll put on some of the barrier restore cream i don't use this every single night only if my skin is feeling quite dry and then in mornings i'll use the skin of me brighten and boost calming azalic acid serum this is so great this is new i actually have like skin of me codes which i'm pretty sure sure sorry are still active from previous partnerships obviously i have worked with skin of me in the past before but so before this is not sponsored this bit but i'll leave those links down below like you can get discounts and you can also get a free sample of this see if you like it but it's just amazing like these two together oh so good and then i'll follow up the skin of me serum with these two which are the prada beauty god can't you tell they've been used i'll put the serum on first and then the moisturizer i honestly do think though obviously this is very pricey just any gel base moisturizer i had a facialist person tell me this like gel moisturizers are really good because they just like don't block the pores as much as like white thick creamy ones do anything that just feels thin like watery gel like if you suffer shuffer oh my god if you suffer from like a breakout purring skin is really great what else do we have to talk about i also think i'm going to be documenting my 70th hard journey strictly on my snapchat because let's be real like no one gives a fuck and i refuse to become that annoying girl on instagram who's posting how long it took her to run her 5k like no never not in my books and i don't want anyone to perceive me differently like i'm still fun i just care about my mental well-being and i want a six pack for summer whilst we're talking about skincare shoving everything back onto my windowsill this burglar tries to break in again Oh, I was about to say he can help himself to my Prada creams, but actually he can't because I really enjoy those and I just got a gardening quote through. Oh my god, yeah, as well. Shit, I need to tell you about all that. Would have seen the whole gardening fiasco when the landscapers... Yeah, the beanbag's still in my hallway. I don't know what the fuck to do with it, okay? Because since this burglary situation, I'm hyper aware about putting my address out online. But I also, look, respectfully, I'm not paying... 50 pounds for a removal man to come and deliver it to someone's house for free because i just got my gardener's quote through and it's looking like it's gonna be like six thousand pounds oh why why must it cost so much for me to build a little doggy disneyland out there i have rethought a couple things that i wanted them to do since they came over so maybe if i message back like i actually don't think i do want as much work or am I just telling myself this because I got a six run quote through? Like I was originally gonna get all the flower beds out and then I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like you're literally just gonna have like literally a, a like, I don't know. So I now think I wanna keep the flower beds and then there's also like a little elevated raised bit in the garden. Like there's two elevated raised bits and I was gonna get rid of like the small little one. I don't know, it just seems to have no purpose. And I also think that I should build a little like garden shed there at some point, like keep the Christmas decorations in, you know what I mean? And I'm now thinking maybe that's not essential right now. And if it would knock a thousand pounds off the cost of it, I also wouldn't be mad. But anyway, it's very exciting because hopefully that'll be getting done soon. I mean, look, it's an expensive job. Like, it's a big job. And I've gone multiple different places. They all sort of quote the same thing. It's not like I'm just, like, diving into it without doing my research. But anyway, on the lines of beauty, glow up, being gorgeous, 
inside and out but actually mainly outside look i am not vitamins babe i honestly just thought it was all a little bit fatty and especially since i've been like eating really good which i do like to think i eat good and when i say eat good i just eat all my veggies i get all my veggies in but i cannot explain to you how much taking vitamins has done for like my hair my skin my nails bloating as well like my tummy is just flat like even if i eat a really big meal i don't get like any sort of painful blow at all because i take enough vitamins for a small army these are the ones i take so i take hair burst healthy hair vitamins these are just two a day I'm trying to grow my hair i also take the free soul pcos vitamins you take four of these daily so i just take two in the morning and then two in the evening i'd say these two are really quite like fast actors the hair and energy and the detox and deep blow but don't be fooled i feel like this hair and energy vitamin i mean it could be these two because to be honest these two i've only introduced in the last three weeks i've been consistent with these for like nearly two months i'd say hair and energy vitamins i honestly really think have helped to clear my skin up like i know they've got i think they've got zinc in them yeah zinc which i know is amazing for your skin so you just take one of these a day and then you take one of these well you take two of these a day once after food if that makes sense so like take one after your breakfast and then one after your dinner and then i've also been taking the vice floor i'm pretty sure these are just multivitamins honestly the tiktok ads for these oh, like i'm all for talking about female issues but oh my god some of them are just so intense that's the word intense and that's all the health wealth well-being tips that i have for you today i also have a little one last little sneak peek for you all but oh my god what is this oh my god i'm gonna piss myself i'm gonna beat my pads <laughs> oh mama's gonna piss herself like the tenth time today i cannot stop weeing because i'm having to drink like 10 fucking liters of water a day back Good morning, I relieved myself. Oh, that sounds inappropriate. Day two of my 75 hard, but that's not what this video is about. This video is my getting sexy for summer glow up. I actually woke up at 6 a.m. this morning. Whoop. Whoa! We got a very energetic dog here this morning because I'm not able to take her on a walk because it is bucketing it down outside. Really ruining my summer vibe. But apparently the rain is supposed to stop at four, so I'll take her out there. Which means in the meantime, we better get those steps in, baby. Hello, my name is Fossy Clegg and this this is my treadmill. Addy, you're gonna wanna get off the table. You're gonna go flying. This is one of those treadmills. Babe, no. I don't know how to talk to you because I feel awkward just walking and talking, but then it's this more. Oh shit, I've just moved the belt for fuck's sake. You can fold this treadmill up basically, but I just kind of leave it up all day at the moment because if I haven't mentioned, I am doing 75 hard. I'm trying to get a bit more cardio in at the moment and like get a sweat on. So I've actually started doing like interval running for about 45 minutes per day. I'm trying to get two workouts in a day, 45 minutes each. Like one of them a little bit more high intensity, like really feel my heart going. And then the other one is literally just like a dog walk with Ida outside. But then even in between those i literally just walk on these when i watch tv when i used to scroll my phone so i've actually just limited my scrolling phone intake to 30 minutes a day the next 75 days that is quite optimistic i've given myself leeway obviously like if i'm posting or i'm filming a tiktok like that's completely different but scrolling i just i don't need to be doing it as much as i do i get around like 15 to 20 000 steps in a day and it's so easy to do i also feel like it helps me sleep better if you're just a work from home girl or you're like at a job where you're stationary a lot of the time you can also get those desks 
where like you can walk and do it at the same time it's fantastic i just keep my phone in my pocket so that it can like track how many steps i'm doing and when i do walk i'll walk at like 6.5 kilometers an hour and then when i do my running i'll walk at 6.5 kilometers per hour for five minutes and then i'll run at 10 kilometers an hour for the next five minutes i try and do like five minutes on five minutes off like some days are easier than others i just find it a lot in my knees at the moment oh my gosh actually talking of fucking knees when I got it, I got so excited. Like, I just stepped on it to walk on it, and I was barefoot in my pajamas, no sports bra. And as I said, I just got really excited, and I was like, oh my god, I, I should start running on this. Like, I can run on this, I'll become a runner. Doing that barefoot, not only with the bottom of my feet, like, fucking hard parmesan cheese, I had to run pushing both breasts into my spine because I wasn't wearing a sports bra. I could not walk down the stairs for like four days afterwards and I seriously thought I was gonna have to put myself in for some like knee replacement surgery. So do wear running shoes if you are gonna run. I mean, I feel like that's quite standard, but if you're a fucking idiot like me, maybe it's not. I've just downed about a liter and a half of water, had a ginormous jug of iced coffee and a mug of jasmine tea. So I feel like if I do my running right now, I will be sat with my head over the toilet bowl, but I am going to get back on, do like 45 minutes of walking, watch Gossip Girl. I've been like re-watching the old series of Gossip Girl. Well, I say re-watching, I actually never finished it. So I guess I'm finishing off Gossip Girl and I'll come back to you when I run. I am putting it off. There is not one part of me that wants to do it, but discipline. That's what this video is all about. Forty-five minutes done. I'm pissed. I'm pissed my hair is growing back because what the fuck is this? I'm pissed my leg hair is too short to shave. I'm pissed that this new really expensive shampoo that I bought literally only keeps my hair clean for one day. I'm pissed that even after plucking my eyebrows seven days ago, there is this much regrowth. I'm pissed that I tried to take Ida on a walk, but because the ground was too wet, she simply refused. I'm pissed that the really cute white Brandy Melville pajamas I wanted to wear for this segment got covered in tan, but I'm not pissed at this though. Like. That is banger. This is the combo, if you wanted to know. I'm pissed that my boobs don't naturally sit up to my chin. I'm pissed that Jacob Elordi has no idea who I am and will never know who I am. I'm pissed that I have to hoover multiple times in my life and not just at once. I'm pissed that Blank Street isn't under the room. I'm pissed that I put no deliveries or sweet treats on my 75 hard list. And then we had a revelation. When I tell you I slipped, <laughs> I slipped on the wet floor of my bathroom, ate shit, and saw my entire life flash before my eyes. It gave me a whole new perspective. Fuck this 75 hard note. That's a joke. Yeah, I'm on day two of 75 hard. Don't fucking do it, it's hell. And if you are gonna do it, don't tell people you're doing it so that you can break it. I made it loud and proud and clear because I knew... Why is that happen? What's going on? Why must the bubbles rise? Why? Why? I told everyone, their mum, their dad, their dog, their ex-boyfriend that I'm doing 75 hard because I knew if I didn't, like, I would be out by now. Especially as I'm going clubbing. I have never been clubbing sober in my entire life and especially not to the box. Going to a brand event with Nyx and I'm actually dragging my other sober friend along so that he can hold me accountable and I'll just know there's someone else there in the same boat as me. I do not have an alcohol problem contrary to what a lot of people love to assume online however this to me like the fact that i'm like oh i cannot believe i'm going out so bad just proves that i need to prove to myself that i can have fun my anxiety is next level because i just behave like a fucking moron and it's fun when you and your friends like behave like morons together but i'm 23 years old you know what i mean like oh what the fuck what the fuck I thought I just saw a ghost. This is sobriety, it's getting to me. I need to enjoy my life without a beverage and it's very doable. I'm not saying I'm gonna be sober Sally for the rest of my life, but I just need these couple months, 75 days. <gasps> 
right that night dying is my 13th reason i'm not we're not even gonna get ready together i wasn't even planning on getting ready together to be honest i've got so many videos of me getting ready i'm literally gonna be doing the same makeup i always do i was gonna film it for tiktok however but looks like i'm not now things i do for a glass of rose i've just got ready and dressed as well but i mean this outfit is really nothing miraculous i feel like you've all seen me wear this before but i was a little bit clever and I put these socks with these shoes and they kind of look like sock boots. And obviously they match the little bow. I desperately need the powder. I'm so fucking shiny. But you know what? Actually, I don't think I should do it now. I am ready so early for once in my life. I've got an hour and a half to just sit around and wait. Oh, something really sharp is poking into my asshole. So now I sit and wait. What's worse, anxiety or sobriety? That was... That was good, that was clever, that was witty. The start to the night. In fact, I'm so aware that I cancelled the Uber to come home. Just to double check. I hadn't left my straighteners on and I have in fact not left them on. I was Googling all sorts. Like we literally got halfway there and I went, God, I don't have to have my straighteners off. Like, you know, when you just have that panic and because I'm not drunk, the panic didn't go away. But I can in fact confirm they were off. I don't know if I would have preferred them to be on because it would have made the journey back more bearable, but it's literally a f Oh shit. The dog. Come here, little girl. Come to mummy. I was about to say, is it better they were off? Or was it like a wasted trip? I don't know, but at least they were off. They were off! Woo! The event I went to had the sugar babes there. What the hell? If you know me, sugar babes, push the button, has been on my Spotify wrapped for the last three years. I was gonna sing, but you know what? I think I'll spare you with that. You guys, shit, can you see it yet? Oh, oh. well, I say fuck, but A, I haven't had dinner. And B, it's a filet of fish. And C, it's a filet of fish. I just had my first ever sober night out. Not half fucking bad. And I really enjoyed myself. Guys, my grandma watched these videos and shouldn't be swearing. Wait, your grandma watching the videos? Yeah, mm. I didn't think she did, but then she sent me a message once like, oh, I saw. I mean, if, actually, to be honest, if I had a grandchild, I'd watch her videos. Yeah. So part of my. 75 hard was no food delivery and no cheat meals. Mr. Wine doing this for you. I jumped so hard to Sugar Babes. <laughs> they were good. Uh, I totally deserve this every single inch of me. But after this, I promise, no more. If you do 75 days without drinking, I think that's a bigger inch achievement than every so often having a takeaway. Even though, was this your first day doing it? Second day in Euphoria. Basically, my lowdown of tonight and going out sober. Barbecue, pedophile, <laughs> absolutely not. Sour cream and chai babe over here. It sounds like it's my video because I'm in the middle of the video. That was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible to be kids. I'm eyes closed. It's really not hard. It was really not hard. I mean, we were only there for like two hours. Mm. Um, I think there was other people that also weren't drunk or drinking. Yeah, it wasn't like a really, obviously it was a brand van. There were some people that were drinking, but... Yeah, uh, but the music was so good. I was up, I was dancing, mm -hmm. I was chatting, I didn't feel weird. Mm -hmm. And almost in a way, if it were a room full of strangers, it would have been even easier. Because I just would have been with my close friends and like, mm. it's not weird. Yeah. It was like, that's more anxiety and like lots of mutuals and kind of people I kind of know. Yeah. But I had the best time and it was so easy and I was so nervous before mm. and I think so much of it is like the anticipation of like oh my god I'm gonna be so rich tonight. Yeah. Once you're actually in it, it's like I felt no different. I had the best time mm -hmm. and I was dancing, I just was dancing And a lot. like what I said to you earlier, I feel like you're the only person, mm. if you're not drinking, unless it's like, you know, close friends, you're the only person that um, knows that you're sober. Oh. Other people don't realise whether you're sober or not. Because so. Josh, you've been sober for... Year and a half now. Year yeah. and a half. Mm hmm I mean, I wasn't alcoholic. No. Water. Neither of us are alcoholics, this close. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been drinking for a year and a half. But with people in our 20s, it's like a huge part of what people do. 
True. So but it is against the norm. To it be is, sober. Well, I think more people are either sober curious now or. I'm like, it. what the fuck are they putting in alcohol these days? Because I swear everyone's going off it. I think everyone's. I think, I think people are more in touch with their mental health. And I think we now know. Well, they probably knew before, but I think we everyone's aware. Like, if you feel sad, like when you're hungover, obviously yes, you're hungover. But if you continue to feel sad for multiple days, there's an issue there. Like, some if I if I could drink, I don't even want to drink. But like, if I don't think I would have ever would have stopped if I never. Some people don't get hangovers, or some mm, people don't get I anxiety. Have such anxiety. Exactly, and like I would never do anything that would. I don't think I would ever do anything that would. Imp- like make me embarrassed but the anxiety was more just like the chemicals in my brain I just felt so sad mm. afterwards for a few days and it just wasn't worth it just wasn't worth it and people always say oh anxiety is real like just get over it like everyone embarrasses like no it is so but real I think they're the ones that obviously don't get yeah. it which is great like that is you know good but mm. I think mean, if you do get it then you understand that obviously feeling sad in general you know sometimes you can't help that but if if you know to a certain extent alcohol isn't helping it, and obviously you're not addicted to alcohol, then that's something you can just stop. I don't think everyone needs to stop drinking, but... No. I don't know how I feel at the end of the 75 days, but... It's definitely... Put a lot in perspective, like... I also think it's made me realise it's so, like, circumstantial. Like, the vibe tonight was all my kind of music, music I really enjoyed. If I went somewhere... Mm. Yeah. That I knew I wasn't going to enjoy. Yeah. I'd go because I'm going to be drunk yeah. and I'm going to have a drink. And like being drunk is enjoyable. The actual mm-hmm. venue itself is not enjoyable. Yeah. So moving forward in the future, I'm only going to go to things I actually want to go mm-hmm. to. That I'll be like, I am going to enjoy yeah. this, not just because my friends are music, there. Yeah, I think music is a big part. And also, I think even like after 75 days, obviously, if you ask that long, <laughs> I'm sure you will. I will. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just going really well. <laughs> but like on the alcohol aspect of it, I think even then. You know, after 75 days and you drink sometimes and you don't drink other times, at least you know that mm. you can, like, you know that you can go to an event or go to a party. Have a really good time. And you don't necessarily have to drink alcohol every time, which yeah. is a good, it's a great thing. It's quite a powerful thing to know that you can do. Mm, and that obviously sometimes, so good. Yeah, obviously sometimes you can drink if you want to, friends, birthdays or whatever. But, but like, other times, if you don't want to, like, sometimes I think you get in this rut of, oh, I'm going to this event, I'm going to this party, so therefore I have to drink. But if you know that you, you know, you can go to a party completely sober, then you you can give yourself the option, which I think is really mm. good. And I've got a meeting to wake up for tomorrow and I'm not going to want to die. True. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think if you were, if you, if you were drinking, we'd definitely still be out right now. I do also think you get like a confidence because it's like, oh, I'm actually making, I am making conversations, not like the drink chatting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not like me just being friendly. I think mm. a lot of times you use it for a crutch to be social because mm. it's like you just care less. So you're, you're going to go up to people and be like, hey, how are you? But yeah. there is actually nothing stopping you going up to people and be like, hey, how are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I do, also, I think it stops you from doing things that you probably wouldn't yeah. do sober. Like mm-hmm. just saying that. Just saying, I don't know, saying things. and shit. Mm, I was, I, mean, I still am to a certain extent, but I was a huge attention seeker when I was drinking. But like, it was more so that if I made someone laugh, obviously in my brain I was like, okay, I've made them laugh, or a group of people laugh, I'm gonna continue to do that. Almost like, it was pretty much like the class clown, but drinking. I actually just be about those fries, sorry. What's that mean? Like, like one bite and swallowed. Mm. Anyway, carry on. No, but that's it. But like, no, I'm still somewhat of an attention seeker, but. It's different, it's not. You're in control. Yeah, like, yeah, there was a point where, like, you know, you wake up the next day, I'm sure those people have experienced this, and then if your friends tell you what happened the night before. I mean, I, luckily, like, not even lucky, I, ne- I never did anything bad, but it was more like what I would do, like, to myself, to embarrass myself, basically. Mm. And, like, that used to kill me, and I'm so happy that I never, that, that just doesn't happen anymore. Because it's also true, especially when you meet new people, like, oh, I don't want your perception of me mm. to be me smash mm. i'm like much a cool person mm. i think you know i think you get you get a lot more confidence back like when you were a ch- kid and you'd go yeah. to um a school disc or whatever you'd be sliding across the floors hyper you yeah get, you do honestly you get that energy back you i do. had two red bulls and a diet coke and i do think the caffeine Mm-hmm. Gave me a buzz, and then one day I'm sure I'll be able to just have water. We were there with a girl who was just drinking water. Yeah, I, I also think having sober friends, if you're sober curious, is really good. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's true. You need like a good influence around you. Mm. Mm. And on that note, we hope you, we've inspired some of you in this hot girl glow up video. We love you. Stay safe. Hello. Stay safe. <laughs> Stay safe. Love you.
love you. Subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Bye.